Good morning, everybody. I'm Kelly Morgan. If, if I haven't met you before, I am the executive director of the Wyoming Breast Cancer Initiative. And um, our premise is basically to raise money to give money away. We have two grants. One is the community fund grant where organizations can actually apply for the grant. Those come available December 1st. And there's no cap on the amounts. Um, it just has to tie into our mission. So if you have a project or idea about spreading breast cancer awareness across the state, definitely check out that grant. Again, it'll be on our website beginning December 1st. The deadline to apply for that grant is July or January 31st. The second grant is in conjunction with the Wyoming Department of Health, the cancer program. Um, and basically we we have the application, it's a dual application with the Department of Health and individuals can apply for the breast screenings, diagnostics and biopsies. Um, if they don't meet the CDC criteria, um, meaning you have to be over the age of 40, you have to be female, you have to be uninsured and then star is at 203% of the poverty level. 250%. Of 250% of the poverty level. So if the individual say if they're 39 or if they're male or they do have insurance but with a high deductible, they can be, you know, apply through that application and then um, if they don't meet that, if they won't meet that criteria, so they'll be sent over to our funding. So, so again, we raise money to give money away. Um, I just want to give you some updates about what's going on around the state. Um, we have a lot of things coming up with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, we do have, um, on October 7th, is the University of Wyoming Pink Game. So if you know of any cancer warrior or survivor, it doesn't have to be breast cancer, it can be any cancer, um, and they would like to attend the game, we have free tickets for them and one guest. So they just need to reach out to me at info or info at wyomingbreastcancer.org to get that ticket. Um, we have a cap of 70 tickets, so... We've only had a few apply, so <laughs> the more the merrier. So if you know of anyone, please spread the word. Um, October 6th, I just talked to Dama uh, this morning. So Casper is going to have a hockey pink game up in Casper on October 6th. Um, October 7th is the Weston County Girls Getaway. Uh, they are a grantee of ours, and they have women apply and join them for a day of you know, let's talk about breast health. And then they get them scheduled for the breast screenings. In Cheyenne on October 13th is a drink for pink. Um, it's a former, one of our former board members, her mother passed away, I believe about 14 years ago. And she's been doing this every year um, just to bring awareness and raise money for the Wyoming Breast Cancer Initiative. And on October 25th, we have Bras with the Cause in Laramie. It's a fun event. If you're in the Laramie area, um, or if you're anywhere in Wyoming, basically, you could design a bra and enter your bra into the competition. The top 10 bras will then be live auctioned off. The other bras that are submitted um, will actually be like combined with the basket. Um, the theme is Pioneers of the West. So a fun event, and we'd love to have you. And I also wanted, um, we also, there's some other things going around around the state, but it's, it's too long of a list. I just wanted to highlight those, those events. But I also wanted to tie into and talk a little bit about our grantees, um, the various grantees that we have around the state. We currently have three breast boutiques and those breast boutiques help survivors with their, their bras and breast prosthetics and wigs. And we have one currently in Casper, that's with the Angels Cancer Care. We have one in uh, Uinta County with their public health department. And then up in Gillette, we have the NEW Community Found Health Foundation. So if you need anybody, if you know anybody that needs help with their breast prosthetics or maybe a wig, um, you can again, call me or email me and I'll get you tied into them. We have two activity-based grantees. Um, I just spoke of one, and that's the Girls Getaway. That's in Weston County. We also have a really cool one up in Jackson. It's with um, St. John's. And I met with them last week, and they have a Pilates program. So survivors can go in. Um, 
they have really small groups, three to four individuals that get together and do Pilates and it's kind of like therapy, but you're moving the body and that sort of thing. So again, a really cool activity. They just applied for the grants and now they can provide this for their community. Um, we have uh, breast screenings throughout the state. We have eight programs across the state right now that promote breast screenings um, in various forms and ways. Um, one is, that it's kind of fun, up in, or actually in Sweetwater County, it's Paint the Town Pink. Um, so they have an individual that goes out and attends 20 local health fairs, and they provide four um, breast screening events throughout the month of October. So just some ideas. And another grantee that we have is Bosom Buddies, buddies that crochet the prosthetics um, for breasts. So any questions from anybody? I just want to give you a summary what, about what we do and the programs and start any other? Kelly, it's Lee. You guys cover? Can you Anna, have... I see you on there. Oh, <laughs> Anna's on there. Sorry, I'm late. Can you hear me? I was talking Kelly. about meeting with you last week. Yeah. Oh. Pilates girl. Any questions from anybody? I kind of rambled on. Can you hear me, Kelly? Yes, I can. Oh, it's Lee and Gillette. Hi, you, Lee. Hey, do you have a flyer for the football game? I know in the previous years we have, and I've put them out. Oh, sure. I've given them to patients, but I probably just maybe missed it this year. Um, no flyer, but I can definitely get that. We just moved in using social media. Okay. Well, even if there's like a screenshot of the details, I can put it, you know, just copy and paste it. Okay. I'll send that I to you. Go Thank to the you. website and find it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I put the link for your Facebook page in the chat box and there's a bunch of posts on there for the activities and events coming up. Um, and then we also do try to post some of those on the Wyoming Cancer Coalition page as well. So whenever we get information, we share that. Um, so perfect. Any other questions for Kelly? That was a lot really fast. So I think we have 16. <laughs> 16 community grantees from last year, or is there more? Uh, you're right on, Star. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So yeah, um, that's always a great opportunity to apply for additional funding. I think Kelly said that opens in December and then closes in at the end of January. So get together and start thinking through ideas of what that could look like. It's um, There's a prevention piece, a screening piece, and then survivorship support. Um, and I love reading about the activities that happen across the state utilizing that funding. So looking forward to that again this year. Any other questions for WBCI?